Hello friends, uh, we have studied linear congruence last time. A linear congruence is of the type AX congruent to B modulo M. This is linear congruence and uh, we know uh, this linear congruence has a solution under the condition that if uh, D is the GCD of A and M and D divides D then the congruence has then uh, the con this linear congruence has solution then it has B solutions so this part we have studied earlier or last time and we have solved some problems related to this and if uh, the GCD of uh, A and M these two number is 1 then this linear congruence will have a unique solution, only one solution. Now we uh, shall consider system of uh, linear congruences. Linear congruences are first studied by Chinese uh, mathematician Sun Tzu. We, uh, this uh, Chinese mathematician uh, lived in first century and uh, he studied uh, linear congruences. He posed a problem to find a number which leaves remainders 2, 3, 2 when divided by by the numbers say 3, 5, 7. So the meaning of this is suppose the number is x then x leaves remainder 2 when divided by 3 means x will be congruent modulo 3 by definition of congruence and the same number x will leave the remainder 3 when divided by 5 that is x is congruent to 3 modulo 5 and the same number x will leave the remainder 2 when divided by so thus this problem to find a number which leaves remainder 2 3 2 when divided by 3 5 7 respectively is equivalent to this system of linear congruences. So this is system of linear congruences just as a system of uh, linear equations and solution to this system is the number which satisfies uh, these congruences simultaneously. The same number satisfies all the three congruences is the solution of this uh, linear congruence. And uh, the theorem related to this uh, solution of linear congruences is named after Chinese remainder theorem because Chinese mathematicians studied this problem first. And uh, I have written the statement here, this is our theorem number 5. Chinese remainder theorem. The statement is we uh, have to remember the statement also. Uh, sometimes uh, the question may be state and true Chinese remainder theorem. So the statement is let n1, n2 up to nr be positive integers such that the GCD of n i and n j is equal to 1 for i not equal to j. That means these integers are relatively prime in pairs. Then the system of linear congruences. This is the system of linear congruence like this. X congruent A1 modulo N1, X congruent to A2 modulo N2, and so on. X congruent to AR modulo NR. That means these are R congruences, linear congruences, or system of R linear congruences. This system has a simultaneous solution which satisfies all these and which is unique modulo the integer the product of n1 n2 n r this is single integer having the product of these uh, factors so this is the theorem uh, related to linear congruences now we shall prove the theorem so i shall uh, write the proof here we first form this product of product of this n1 n2 n and suppose this single number as n and that is let n is equal to 
n1 into n2 and so on up to n r. These n1, n2, n r are the module of each congruence. Now further, let capital N k we shall consider. Capital N k is equal to n divided by small n k. And k takes value 1 to r. Or yes, where k is equal to 1 to so on up to r. Or that is what will be the meaning of capital N k this notation. This one number, another number we are forming n k corresponding to this uh, n small n. And it is divided by n k means uh, from this n k factor is deleted or omitted. And therefore this number means n1, n2 and so on this product. n k is deleted so earlier to n k it is n k minus 1 and n k is not there next to n k will be n k plus 1 and last is same as n so that means from this product n k is omitted or deleted then the number n capital n k is formed so um, after forming this number we shall consider the number n k this number n k and n k small n k capital n k and small n k are relatively prime. So, given that GCD of NK and small nk is equal to 1 because of this condition. GCD of Ni, Nj is equal to 1. I not equal to J. And uh, therefore, we have the two numbers are relatively prime and thus the congruence, the linear congruence, we shall consider nk into x congruent to 1 mod nk has the unique solution. And we denote that solution by xk, say xk. Now this is written uh, by corollary of theorem 4. See this uh, we have studied earlier last time. This is uh, by corollary of theorem 4. Because uh, the GCD of this nk and nk is equal to 1 and then this linear congruence has only one solution and that solution we have denoted by xk same means suppose or denote it by xk further now we shall prove that the number x bar uh, we shall uh, consider the number x bar is equal to a1 n1 x1 plus a2 n2 x2 and so on up to ar nr xr is the solution of simultaneous congruences or is the simultaneous solution of the given system this is our claim or we will prove and uh, to prove this we shall consider again by definition of this there are n such uh, num r such, such numbers n1 n2 up to n r and therefore these are r terms we have considered now see n k divides n r if k is not equal to r this is by the definition of capital uh, n k this uh, capital n k will not have the factor n k similarly this capital n i will not have the factor n i 
and if i is not equal to k then it will have the factor mk that means mk will always divide mi so this is the meaning of the relation and this implies ni is congruent to zero modulo nk by definition c nk divides the difference of these two ni minus zero means ni and uh, this is if k is not equal to i and this implies the result uh, this gives the result x bar now because of this result what this x bar number will be a1 x bar we have formed as a1 x1 a1 n1 x1 plus a2 n2 x2 and so on up to ar nr xr now this is congruent congruent to only nk factor will remain others will be congruent to zero n i is zero if i is not equal to k and thus remaining all will be n1 will be zero n2 will be zero n r will be zero only n k will not be zero and thus all these terms vanish except k term that is a k n k x k modulo small n k because of this all n i are zero except i not equal to k and therefore k term will remain remaining will become zero so this is x bar and now we shall uh, suppose this relation as one and here uh, we are done the linear congruence nk x congruent to one has solution xk or we can write since xk is the solution is the solution of nk x congruent to 1 mod nk therefore nk xk is congruent to 1 mod n solution means it satisfies the congruent this is the solution of this means nk xk is congruent to 1 modulo nk now we use this relation here nk xk becomes 1 congruent to 1 and therefore 1 implies or from 1 from 1 we have you see first relation this part is congruent 1 and therefore we have first as x bar x bar is congruent a k into 1 or which is same as a k a k into 1 is same as a k modulo n k and what this uh, shows this shows that for k takes value 1 to r x bar satisfies a 1 x bar is congruent to a 1 mod n 1 x bar is congruent to a 2 mod n 2 and so on so therefore x bar is the simultaneous solution of the given system of congruences this shows that x bar congruent to a k mod of n k is the simultaneous solution or is the solution of the system Now, what uh, remains to prove is that the solution is unique. This solution is unique that we have to prove. That means the solution uh, is only one. And we shall consider that part separately. Uniqueness. Suppose the given system has two solutions x bar and x dash to prove the uniqueness we assume two solutions and uh, further we show 
the two solutions are the same. That proves the solution is only one. So therefore, these two are solutions means x bar. X bar is a solution, so x bar is found root to AP. And uh, x dash is also solution, therefore x dash is also congruent to AP. And both satisfy this. So therefore, uh, and this is under modulo NP. Two solutions we have shown. And what this implies? So this will imply NK by definition of congruence. X, X bar is congruent to X dash modulo NK means NK divides the difference of these two x bar minus x dash and this is true for k taking value k is equal to 1 2 up to r and thus each nk each nk n1 divides this uh, difference n2 divides this difference and so on but GCD of NINJ or uh, this NK are relatively prime. GCD it is given. GCD of NI NJ is equal to 1. Given. So this implies or uh, therefore we have or uh, we have the result. The product of these uh, n1, n2 also divides n1, n2 up to nr divides x bar minus x dash. So we have this is a uh, theorem 4 of chapter 1. You may refer this uh, theorem. We have n1 n2 up to nr divides x bar minus x dash. Now what, are, what is the, that theorem we have referred is uh, this one. A divides C, B divides C and GCD of AB is equal to 1. Relatively prime, these two are relatively prime. Then the product of A into B also divides C. So this is a simple theorem. Here. And how this theorem is applied here? Nk divides x bar minus x dash means N1 divides x bar minus x dash, N2 divides x bar minus x dash and so on. Nr divides x bar minus x dash. And thus their product divides the same number. So here a divides C, A, B divides C and the condition is this must be relatively prime and these are relatively prime, N, I, N, J are relatively prime uh, and uh, we have the pro product divides C and the, that means the product N1, N2 up to N R divides X bar minus X dash. So this is the theorem we have referred. So thus, uh, this implies X dash uh, x bar x bar is congruent to x dash modulo this number n1 n2 up to n and this is what we wanted to prove and we have denoted this product by or that is x bar is congruent to x dash modulo n and this shows that the solution is in that means the two solutions are congruent to each other and that means they are uh, the same we don't consider congruent solutions different and this shows that the solution is unique or yes the solution x dash or x bar is unique and this completes the proof of Chinese remainder theorem. So thus uh, we have proved the theorem. So here what uh, we have to note is uh, the number n we have formed as product product of n1, n2, nr and then we have formed capital N, k 
and then we have uh, solved the congruence n k x congruent to 1 and uh, the procedure will be more clear uh, when we solve the problems. Now we shall consider the problems on this from the exercise. It is a problem set 4.4. Uh, from the book, recommended book is this. So I shall write the problem. Solve the following set of simultaneous congruences. Set our system of uh, simultaneous congruences. X congruent to one modulo three. leaves remainder remainders 1 2 3 when divided by 3 5 7 respectively similar to the problem of Sun Tzu or Chinese mathematician or or find the number or find a number So same problem can be asked in this way. Find a number which leaves the remainders 1, 2, 3 when divided by 3, 5, uh, 7. Now we shall use the method of solution that we have explained or considered in the proof of Chinese remainder theorem. So we shall start with uh, writing the notation as We have, see our system in the theorem, we have written as x congruent to a1 mod n1, x congruent to a2 mod n2 and so on. So these are the values of a's, a1, a2, a3 and these are the values of n1, n2, n3. So we have a1 is equal to 1, a2 is 2, a3 is 3, n1 is 3 n2 is modular numbers, n2 is 5, n3 is 7. So these are the numbers, these are ai's, these are ni's. And now, or let n is equal to, we have found the product of these modular numbers, n is n1, n2, n3. And that is 3 into 5 into 7 or which is 105 105 and further let nk capital nk uh, we have or we shall consider n1 n divided by n1 capital nk is n divided by small nk and thus n1 is n divided by n or what is uh, n n is 3 into pi into 7 and what is n1 is 3 so this is divided by 3 means the first factor cancels 
and the remaining is 5 into 7. In N1, the first factor cancels, so 5 into 7 is 35. What is N2? N, in N2, capital N2, the second factor cancels because it is N divided by N. And if the second factor cancels, it is 3 into 7, that is 21. And similarly, N3 is N divided by N3 means the third factor cancels, it is 3 into 5, that is 15. So these are capital N1, N2, N3. So the procedure is simple of uh, formation of this N and capital N. Now, the linear congruences. We have to solve the linear congruences. Nk x congruent to 1 modulo Nk. We consider this congruence. And this congruence uh, we have claimed in the theorem has unique solution because this nk is capital nk and small nk are relatively prime so therefore there is one solution and here k takes values how many values are there k takes values 1 to r means k takes values with 3 values 3 congruences are there 1 2 3 and these are now see for k is equal to 1 n1 one into x capital n1 capital n1 is 35 so 35x congruent to 1 modulo small n1. Small n1 is, or you refer here, 3. First modulo, mod 3. Second, n2. n2 is 21. 21x, this number is fixed, right side number is fixed, that is 1. And mod n2, n2 is 5. So, and last is N3, N3 is 15, you see, 15x congruent to 1 modulo N3, and N3 is 7. Now we have to solve these linear congruences separately, and we denote the solution, this as x1, x2, and x3. Now 35x is congruent to 1 modulo 3, that is, or which are equivalent we shall reduce this or you may solve this directly anyway. now how to reduce the number 35 35 is congruent to which number modulo 3 that we can see 35 when 35 is divided by 3 what is the remainder uh, you may see 2 is the remainder because uh, here is uh, 33 is divisible by 3 or uh, you may easily check 35 when divided by 3 the remainder is 2 and therefore 35 is congruent to 2 and thus which are equivalent to first is 2x congruent to 1 this smaller number we keep as it is modulo 3 Second, similarly it is 21, 21 then divided by 5 gives the remainder 1 because 20 is divisible by 5. So 21 or you may uh, consider this as 35 since 35 is congruent to 2 modulo 3 because 3 divides difference of this and similarly 21 is congruent to 1 and uh, therefore 21 is congruent to 1 into x that is x x congruent to 1 modulo 5 and uh, the last is 15x 15x is again congruent to 1 because 15 is congruent to 1 modulo 7 so it is x congruent to 1 modulo 7 to reduce the number that gives directly the solution See 21 here, just divide 21 by 5, the number is 1, remainder is 1, 21 congruent to 1 mod 5, here 15 is congruent to 1 mod 7, and thus this, 
So these are the solutions, but again you see 2x, 2x congruent to 1 mod uh, 3 and uh, we want to make it as uh, x only. For that purpose, uh, we shall uh, multiply this by 2. So if you multiply both sides by 2, we will get 4x is congruent to 2 and 4 is congruent to 1 under modulo 3. So we can write as this size further. Next, say 2x congruent to 1 mod 3. This implies multiply by 4 or 2. So 4x congruent to 2. Multiply both sides by 2. So we get 4x congruent to 2 modulo 3. Modulo remains the same. No, uh, no change in it. Why we have written like this? Because 4 is now congruent to uh, 1 under modulo 3. And therefore, this gives x congruent to 2 modulo 3. So, this is the first converse. Actually, we have written separately. 2x, uh, this is the original. 35x is congruent to 1. But 35x, we have written as uh, 2x congruent to 1. Here itself, we can write x is congruent to 2. And uh, then, x is congruent to 1, x is congruent to 2. 1 under modulo 5 and modulo 7. So these are the solutions. And uh, now thus this, uh, the solutions are thus uh, we have the solutions as x1 solution to the first combos this one but it is here x1 is equal to 2 x2 second congruence this is the solution x, x2 is equal to 1 x3 solution of the third congruence it is also 1 so these are the solutions after getting these values we now write x bar the required solution now we are following following the steps uh, that we have written in the proof x bar is equal to a1 n1 x1 plus a2 n2 x2 plus a3 n3 x3 and this is equal to what is a1 here it is 1 n2 dot denotes product here n2 capital n see uh, capital n1 it is 35 and x1 it is 2 so 1 into 35 into 2 plus a2 is 2, n2 is 21 and x2 is 1 again plus a3 is 3, n3 capital N3 is 15 and x3 is 1. Uh, this number now we should calculate as this is 70 plus 42 plus 45 and that again is equal to 7 and this is 1 pi 157 x pi and what is the, the number n? n is 1 0 pi so thus the solution is So the solution is x bar congruent to 157 modulo n. Uh, that is x bar is congruent to 157 modulo 105. And you see uh, this is congruent. 157 com, uh, is congruent to which number under modulo 105 we can divide the number and the remainder is so 52 that is x bar is congruent to 52 modulo 105 is the solution these two numbers are congruent 
This is the solution. So this is the method to solve the system of uh, linear congruences. So what was our uh, problem is was x is congruent. So we can check or uh, we can verify our answer. X is uh, congruent one under modulo three. X is congruent two two under modulo five and x is congruent to 3 under modulo 7. Now we may check whether this satisfies uh, all the three congruences. 52, whether 52 is congruent to 1 under modulo 3, we can check. Yes, because 52 minus 1 is 51 uh, and 3 divides 51. Again, 52 is congruent to 2 modulo 5 because 52 minus 2 is 50. 5 divides the difference and 7 divides the difference of 52 and uh, 3 which is 49. 7 divides 49 and thus uh, this can be verified and this is the solution of Chinese uh, or the solution of simultaneous congruences using the Chinese remainder theorem. So in this way we can uh, solve these uh, problems. So remaining problem uh, we shall consider uh, next time. Thank you.